Hello and thank you for joining me for another episode of Run Level Zero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I've been traveling quite extensively recently for business, but I am home hopefully for a while now and I'm really anxious to get caught up on a few videos and really get back into the swing of things. One of the things I wanted to bring to you is a application called XF Dashboard. Uh, this caught my eye. It was there was an article published on Thursday, July 3rd, 2014 on web update. Now this is for the XFCE desktop environment and this is XFCE if you're not familiar. This is my favorite desktop environment. This is my desktop environment of choice. Uh, in my opinion this is this strikes the perfect balance between user uh, options usability and system requirements It's fairly light on system requirements yet it is a very robust uh, desktop environment so for me this is my favorite one of the things that had initially limited XFCE was your choice of menus uh, until just just recently about a year year and a half ago your only real option was a very plain vanilla uh, frankly bland uh, XFCE menu uh, whisker menu came on online a little over a year ago I believe and it really changed the face of XFCE as a desktop environment with a fully modern themable menu system uh, this has become the de facto uh, menu for XFCE installations so when I saw a new option for a menu system I, I was really excited and, and I couldn't wait to start playing with it what XF dashboard is is it produces a gnome shell like dashboard for your XFCE desktop and we'll get to looking at that here in just a moment now this is developed for XFCE but there was a note down here it says while XF dashboard was created for use under XFCE it can be used in any desktop environment however it has a couple of XFCE dependencies when I saw that I got real excited because I wanted to try it for uh, open box I thought it'd be pretty cool to have something like a a gnome shell menu dashboard type running under open box so I did play around with that a bit but in my experience it was really buggy and it was not as full featured so yeah if you're gonna have to satisfy all of these XFCE dependencies anyway might as well just run it under XFCE right so that's what I did I am running Manjaro this is Manjaro 8.10 XFCE obviously so let's take a peek at this XF dashboard and show you what you get now if you're used to GNOME 3 this is going to look very familiar it's not exactly like GNOME 3 but over on the left hand side you have a area for your favorites and the central section by default what you're looking at is a breakdown of your desktop icons and these you can drag and drop as I'll show you in a moment and on the right hand side is a pullout for your virtual workspaces across the top you have two icons the icon on the left are your windows it shows you your open windows and the icon on your right is your menu or your applications and this is broken down you can actually I like how they kept it categorized here so if you want to look at your internet applications for example you can just take a peek at those click back let's take a look at multimedia and there's my beloved Caden live if you find one you want to add to your favorites you can just drag and drop it wherever you like it there you go for some reason that icon did not transfer over well that's the first time that's happened okay anyway if you want to get rid of an icon you can drag it to the little X at the top of the screen and it'll get rid of it for you to launch a new application just click it really easy from the spread here you can see your open windows you can just click the little X in the upper right hand corner and it will close it out for you and any applications 
you can simply drag over to another desktop. It's just that simple. Now working on these desktops, clicking on one of the tiles will take you over to that desktop. If you want to switch between desktops that you're working with, you're going to use the tab key until you're over on the window drawer and then use the up and down arrow keys to change the desktop you're working on. It's pretty simple to navigate and you know it's very intuitive, user friendly, it's snappy, it's responsive and it just seems to work for me. So how do you install this? On this web update uh, article, and I'll include a link to this in the description below, if you're using Ubuntu or Zubuntu, Linux Mint, any of the Ubuntu derived uh, uh, distributions, there are instructions for how to add the repository and install from the terminal. If you're using Arch or a Arch based distro like Manjaro, uh, XF Dashboard is available in the AUR. So to do that is very simple. I'm just going to issue Yaourt XF Dashboard, which that has a capital X. I want to change it to a lowercase x. And there you are. The one I installed is number one, uh, version 0.2.1-1. That's the one I installed. And there you go. Very simple. As far as launching XF Dashboard goes, um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. One of the first things I did after installation, if you go to your XFCE settings panel and scroll down under hardware, you're going to go to the keyboard option and then the application shortcuts tab. You may have to scroll down a little bit, but you're going to add a new uh, shortcut command and it's very simple. It's just XF, XF dashboard click OK and then you'll be able to press the keys that you want to, to set your combination. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it and the one that I associated it with was my Windows key or my super key so anytime I tap the super key it launches XF dashboard. Really simple. If you want to you may have seen me use a hot corner now uh, XFCE does not have hot corners by default. I did find another interesting uh, article about a, a tool called XDO tool and this again is available in the uh, AUR and there are some uh, that should be available in most, it's a fairly common utility should be available in most repositories most mainstream repositories that is and once you get it installed uh, pretty simple to set up this is the the command structure you're going to issue XDO tool behave screen edge so that tells it when you touch the screen edge I want you to do something then you're going to tell it which screen edge so in this instance it's top left then I want you to execute XF dashboard ampersand so all you're going to do is you're going to copy this okay we're going to launch our file browser control H in your home uh, your home uh, folder and you're looking for dot bash underscore profile. Just open that up with your favorite text editor and paste the command in. Now this will run. You may have to log out and log back in for this to start running, but uh, it'll just run in the background and, and you won't have to do anything to launch it. It'll just work. You can see I've added another one for my top right screen edge to launch a terminal. And once you save that and close out, it'll just run. So if I touch the upper right hand corner you can see it launches my terminal. When I touch the upper left hand corner it launches XF Dashboard. So gives a really nice experience and uh, I don't know I, I really like it. I'm, I'm excited with the project. One limitation that I have noted is this search feature. Uh, let's, let's just search Caden Live. Okay, the search feature on applications works very, very well. Unfortunately, it only searches applications. It does not search files.
files. Uh, I read it. I read the uh, developer's website, and he says that he does not intend for it to search files in the future, but that it that the the system will support uh, plugins. So hopefully there will be an enterprising user out there that will be able to create a file search plugin for it in the, in the near future. But regardless, I'm really pleased with it. I like it. Uh, I'm excited about it. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. Leave your questions, comments, or emotional outbursts below. And thank you for joining me today. I hope to be with you soon for another video.